Uh, tell me about your experience doing Othello. Which time? I, ooh, you see? So you see? Because uh, everybody thinks that they just remember the Stratford one. They don't remember the dog of an Othello I did out in Vancouver um, a few years earlier, uh, which was after eight years of not doing theater, and I went out there and did it. And, and arguably, I would have to say there was a, a few other things that were problematic in the production. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> me not being fully on my game, and I, I, I don't think I... Um, Why do you say that? I it, it, I just hadn't been acting enough. It was two and a half weeks rehearsal, and it was there was just I there was no it, none of it would got into my body um, because there was two and a half weeks rehearsal. Well, that was part of it. That was part of it. I mean, it was big just part of it. There was also <laughs> oh man, this like what? actor's fucking nightmare. Okay, Ooh. so beautiful set, and on the on the floor is this painted, gorgeously painted. It looks like a, a, a tile, um, cut stone, like flooring, right? But it's all one level, but it's all beautifully painted in rich ambers and colors. I mean, it's the most sumptuous freaking production. Mm -hmm. And it was made out of this kind of press board material. Mm -hmm. And it was heavily shellacked. And nobody thought to figure out with press board when people are fighting and are pushing off with their feet, it was like gonna gouge chunks of it off oh. the deck. Oh. So as you would go during the run of the week, more and more places would get gouged up and then they'd like look like shit. So Sunday night and Monday, they would go and repatch it and re shellac it and everything, oh. and it would look great, except oh. it took like about mm, three days to properly fully dry. So you would go on the deck on Tuesday, and all you would hear is the sound of your feet subtly sticking to the floor as you walk. So, it is the cause. It is the cause. 